So, so then a little while ago, I watched one where you got uh, someone built a lightsaber for <clears throat> under twenty pounds. It was a pretty good video, actually. Um, yeah, you, you, it was all right. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. So this one is building a Star Wars Galaxy's Edge lightsaber for fifty pounds. Well, fifty dollars. So uh, I, I was kind of curious, and I thought, well, what can you do for fifty dollars? Which would, if you convert fifty dollars into pounds, it'd be about thirty-five, thirty-eight pounds. So the next best thing is to go build a lightsaber at Home Depot. That is a shiny, shiny. lightsaber handle right there. Let's go home Damn and that uh, shiny. build this lightsaber. BL Ben Lawrence, I think. I get on like these little kicks where I'm super obsessed with something, and my kick lately has been Galaxy's Edge videos and Star Wars lightsaber videos. I've been watching a lot of my friend Dano over on the Dano channel make lightsaber videos, and I want to make Meth one of my check own. Out. Unfortunately, I don't live in Anaheim or Orlando anymore, so I can't go to Galaxy's Edge anytime soon. So the next best thing is to go build a lightsaber at Home Depot. And I figured rather than just go to Home Depot and like just build a lightsaber, we're going to make it a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> cool Stanley and I are going to yes. compete to build the ultimate Nice, nah, this could Home be good. Depot. So we're gonna split off into two groups. I'll build my lightsaber, get all my parts, he'll get all his parts and build his lightsaber. But before we So that sounds really cool. I mean the like I said, the last video I watched where it was twenty pounds, it was alright. And I'll be honest, I'll give that guy credit. The lightsaber he made at the end, it actually looked really, really good. It was a thin net one. Uh but it looks really cool. And for twenty pounds, I'd have been really happy with it. So now there's two people, both with a budget of fifty dollars, and they're going to make their own variation of a lightsaber. I'm I'm looking forward to this. I I hope it's going to be really good. Me too. Well, you too. Sorry, <laughs> reading it word for word. But yeah, no, it's really good. Uh, all right. So he said uh, the twenty pound lightsaber was really good and was really impressed. Yeah. So. We get started if you could do me a huge favor hit the thumbs up button it really helps out the channel if you're new around here and want to see more videos like yeah. this because we have subscribe guys future, subscribe subscribe button and if you, you can join in the, the channel, lives go get yourself a ben lawrence hat just like this over on ben lawrence.spreadshirt.com we also have some pretty sweet shirts over there so make sure to go check them out the maybe link is down below let's head over like. to home depot and start getting our supplies to build lightsabers all right so a couple of ground rules for this challenge we're gonna try to keep it under 50 dollars 50 i was gonna say 30 but all right 50 gives us Is a that... little more wiggle room but other than that i think there aren't any other rules right? just think of the shiny plumbing no, parts you can get for 50 dollars have fun and make and may the best and, uh, and may, may the, the best, force be with you may the best jedi, may the force be with you and may the best jedi may the win. best jedi win all right three two one challenge starts now let's go go gotta get the lightsaber parts gotta get the lightsaber parts oh he's already gone he's already gone gotta get the lightsaber parts now i'm gonna try to build mine entirely out of metal just to i've never heard of this channel lightsaber um, feel I, I don't want a plastic one at all i've all right, never so right heard or seen one either of these two aisles, so i honestly i quite like the content so far this is really good yet. So I'm trying to get ideas with all these like metals and stuff. I know what I'm going to do for my blade, but that's going to come after. Blade. I need to find something that it can fit in before I get the blade. Okay, oh, so they're doing a blade as well. Here, right here. Here, right, we go, okay. here we go. One of these, where is it? Yes. That is a shiny lightsaber handle. Chrome right finish there. brass. If I've ever seen one. Tell me, tell me that doesn't look like a perfect lightsaber handle. I think it does. It looks like a perfect lightsaber with the handle. Half inch one instead, just because this is a little more like the lightsaber than the uh, the other one. I think. I'm going to just gotta find like a way to attach things to this, and that's uh, that's gonna be fun. Well, I'm here in the sink department, and I spotted these. I'll be. Honest, I spent a lot of time in the sink department. This literally looks exactly like that's like, really like cool. Jedi Luke's like lightsaber with that. Oh, part. that is so good. So Is it all plastic? Is it metal? If I don't find anything else. I'm just gonna get a cop out and buy one of these. Like, there's this little side part, so I might have to like cut that off somehow. But if my blade can fit in that, I might have to get that. I mean, it's oh whoa, that mm. one's a lot of money. So the things I just showed you are right here, and I looked up. And in the sh shining light, I wow. see this one with nothing on the side. See, nice. see, this is what uh, somebody asked how to get into this, into making their own lightsaber. Um, go straight to Wix. If you've got a, a Wix or B&Q near you, just go down. 
there are so there's so many plumbing parts that just look perfect and you can make some absolutely sick lightsabers with just some pvc tube some plumbing parts some two-part uh, epoxy you know you can do some amazing things uh you can get uh, chrome plated uh, pvc so it's like really really shiny uh, there's a Facebook group uh, where they only make lightsaber handles from PVC and some of the designs and things that they make are just jaw-dropping amazing. Um, you don't need a huge amount of skill, you don't need huge amounts of tools. Um, so, it's, you know, if you're wanting to get into it, start with PVC, go do exactly what these guys are doing. You, you can't go wrong. Black top. Something you might give right it a there. go. Yeah, do it, it man. Screw Honestly, right there. what you so could I'm go down, get a it, fifty quid cool. budget. You could get loads right so of things that'll be perfect for right it. Here. You could make and an absolutely incredible lightsaber for like fifty quid. The thing that I just picked up, and then screw a bunch of stuff onto the top of it, giving it that real lightsaber look. That's actually how they built Ben Kenobi's lightsaber in the original Star mm. Wars movie. So I'm gonna gonna kind of do it the same way. While we're over here, Home Depot actually has these fun little drawers. And inside the drawers are something we can use to hang our lightsabers from our belts. So All right, I'm going to myself one of these right here. I'm actually going to grab one of these bigger D-rings to put on the other one to give it that more authentic lightsaber look. Because this this looks more like Luke's in, uh, in, in Star Wars. Well, 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 looky who we have here. What you buying? What you buying? You can see huh? through oh, the car. Get Stanley? away from me. Get away from me. What you buying? What Please. you got in your cart I'm there, buddy? Stanley. That's not me. A lightsaber is going to need an activation switch, and uh, this is the best idea I could come up with. A, a doorbell. There's a little doorbell one to the right. I'd just go with like the doorbell really one. Pressing the button, so that's my best idea. And I'm going to put a flashlight inside the blade and put a pipe so it illuminates it like a lightsaber. Right here is my blade. Final piece. That Will that light up? I don't think that would really light up. That was the worst experience. I, mean, I don't even know where we parked anymore because as you can see it's nighttime. Let's go home and uh, build this lightsaber I, I can't wait to see what these two do, uh, end up making Is he outside? Oh no, he's in there. Uh, I thought there was a beach behind him No, it's a wooden wall. Yes, I know it's a wooden wall Nice Look at that Oh, is that how much that lights up? Oh, I thought he was going to have a more powerful light. That's pretty cool. The lightsaber. The weapon of a Jedi. An elegant weapon for a more civilized age. Not as random or clumsy as a blaster. And this is my lightsaber. And I really didn't intend for it to look identical to Return of the Jedi Luke's, but uh... That's the lightsaber I made. Now the question is, who <laughs> has the better lightsaber, me or Stanley? Let's go find Stanley. And you know what? We're gonna let you guys vote, but I wanna I wanna compare them side by side. Oh, I, I want to see what Stanley made. Seen mine. I'm interested. To that see is good. I do out. like that. Turn this down, and then I'll catch you when me and Ben have both finished. So we have our lightsabers here. On the count of three, we're gonna we're gonna present them. Okay. You ready? One, two, three. <laughs> wow, that really, that really lights up. Boom. You didn't tell me. I knew you were going to do the blade because obviously I saw you bought the giant PVC pipe, but I didn't know you were going to make yours actually light up. All right, that's oh. it. See, this is now the problem. Is I didn't even make a blade for mine. I went full, like, prop, like, this is going to look cool on the shelf, where you made yours actually work. Boom. This is made out of, you know, random objects at Home Depot, obviously. But the aesthetic is more like random parts, you know, I got this weird like guard thing, this some wire wrapped around it, some different clips and grips and such. So it's more like homemade lightsaber, like I'm gonna go be a yeah, Jedi. Yeah, it's, it's very raw, like I'm you be made a Jedi, it yourself. Daddy. I like that about it, like, that's what I wanted to do with mine, but I went with the, and I did this, this was all by accident. I didn't do this on purpose, I didn't make a schematic, I accidentally, <laughs> made a movie prop lightsaber. He did, he did. And this looks more like it's something that you'd actually find, like a 
like in a prop yeah. museum or something like that. This isn't practical for the actors to be using in the movie because it's really heavy. But I wanted to go with the more like raw look like you went with, but I accidentally made a, a really high quality prop and it's got a good weight to it. You know, I weathered it a little bit. These are all for. gold parts, but I thought gold looked too shiny and too prequel -y. I think the handle does too. This is, I think, the only thing I'm not super happy with is that no, I like it's it. so shiny. Like I want my lightsaber to look beat up. Like, it's a real lightsaber, not like the fake ones in the prequels. Well, I noticed that yours has one of these these fancy guys, too. I prefer He's his d belt, belt clips, like the Galaxy Z. Yeah, we, yeah, the fancy, like, belt clips you just click right on. You can't see my hip, but, like, we need to just clip the fancy lightsabers to our hip. That's what we need. So if we ever make it to Galaxy's Edge, we definitely got to get those. If this video does well... I'm amazed I'd how well no, his lightsaber that. blade lights like up. Light do it again, do it again. Kill me. Kill me. <laughs> that looks so sick. As I was saying, if this video does well, I think we'll do part two. Where oh, we'll I, I, I want them to do part two. Maybe I'll actually make a blade for mine, because now I'm jealous. Now I want one that actually <laughs> lights up. I say to finish off the video, we uh, fight with our lightsabers. So, um, I don't have anything I can all use. Right, the blade, right. we'll just have to... Pre oh, I just... I die. Mine, mine doesn't work at all. Mine doesn't work, but it looks cool as hell. This is gonna look really good sitting on my shelf. Down in the comments below, comment whose lightsaber you think is mm. cooler, Ben's or Cool Stanley's. Also, there's gonna be a poll up in the corner, so make sure you vote up there as well and in the comments down below. Well, I think that just about does it for this homemade Home Depot lightsaber build video. This is actually I, I a think super you did a great fun job. video to make, and we definitely want to do more in the future. So if you like this type of video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button to let us know. I'll give it after this. I'll give it. So that way we can make more lightsaber building videos in the future. And don't forget to vote for your favorite lightsaber in the comments down below or up in the corner. And these things weren't cheap to make, so if you want to support the channel, yeah, they were only fifty dollars. Just like this, check out BenLawrence.spreadshirt.com. Get yourself some Ben Lawrence merch, or you can support Hello. the channel on Patreon.com. Benlawrence for as little as a dollar a month. You can get a shout out in every video, behind the scenes bonus footage, all kinds of cool stuff like that. Actually, I'm going to be putting extended footage of us building the lightsabers over on Patreon. So if you want to see that, dollar a month, you can get access to behind the scenes bonus footage. And now I think mm. I'm going to go outside and uh, pretend I'm a Jedi and go play with my lightsaber. So get out there, explore the future, and may the force be with you. Yeah. I'll be, uh, I'll be completely honest. Uh... Um, so if uh, if I was if we were to, so as right now we'll judge um, the one that lit up was will be the right the one that didn't light up will be the one on the left and if we had to vote for one I'm not gonna I'm because the blade aspect and the lighting up of blade was never part of the original challenge um, I'm not going to incorporate that I'm going just on the hilt only. Um, and based on the hill only, left wins for me. The guy that made one without the blade. Uh, his looked really good. May not look the most amazing, uh, but it looked really good, especially the emitter section. That was really, really nice. And I kind of like the switch, the big chunky box switch section as well. That was pretty cool. Uh, I'd give that. What's, what's your guys? I can see a lot of you saying left. One of you said right. Left, 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 right, left, left. So I think, yeah, I think left has easily, easily won that. So uh, I might have to check out, see if he has done a part two, because uh, I, <laughs> that was good. I enjoyed that. <laughs>